I was watching back that um, yesterday's vlog with my nan in it and I asked her if she had any life advice and I wasn't expecting what she said. It was just a beautiful moment from someone who's seen so much in their life and has been around for so long that it almost instantly changed my outlook on life. I can't explain it. It was like an epiphany or a euphoric moment of like just... Damn. She right. <laughs> so yeah. Love everybody. I look back at a few of my older vlogs. We can all see the difference visually in the vlogs. But the difference in me as a person is huge. It seems so forced. And rather than documenting life, I was trying to put across a certain image of, of me. I think just more relaxed in life in general at the moment, but just definitely more relaxed into who I am. I, you know, it's good to it's good to evolve. It's good to know that you can you can look at something and say, that's not right. Let's change it. Oh, we're moving. Good, good Joby. Just heading to the Spiegel Tent box office to get some guitar stands. I gave a lend off to Brian for the Lloyd Cole gig, which is supposed to be amazing. Ready? Thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye. Success. It's hey, Jack. Danny. How you doing? I was better to do a time lapse there, but it would have looked horrible, so. No point doing shit that doesn't look good. How you doing? Hello to whoever that was. Thanks for saying hi. Well, that's been happening a lot lately. Walking down the street, getting the old how are you wolf thing. Which goes to show that people who watch these recognize the face. Got an absolute lush rain. Hi there. I'm gonna to have to continue doing these cuts because everybody loves this transition. Everybody, especially me. That's all that really matters in my vlog. Just to get back to a point that I was making earlier about people coming up and saying hello on the street, shouting at Wolf, whatever. If you are one of those people, thank you. I really appreciate you saying hello. And if you do see me in the street and you want to say hello and you're afraid to do it because you think you might annoy me or upset me or look like a fool, just remember, I'm the one holding a camera in the middle of the street. You will be doing me a favor by saying hello because people will think, oh, people know that guy, so he's not strange. And that's all everyone wants in life is to not seem strange. So if you see me in the street and you want to say hello, just say hello, come up, say hello. I'm. Uh, I'm a really nice guy. I always have jelly beans in my pocket. I don't always have jelly beans in my pocket. Okay, time to cook dinner for Emily. Oh, I forgot the ceiling was there. Ah! Hi, and welcome to Cooking with me, Wolf. Today, a simple chicken stir fry to tantalize and tease the taste buds and satiate your unsatiable appetite for yummy food. These are all the ingredients you'll need for this chicken stir fry. Yeah, don't worry about those. Rather than boring you with the uh, with the how-to, I'm just going to go... And that's how you make a chicken stir fry. Dinner's ready. You might have seen that thing going around on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Guys taking selfies of themselves, giving the okay sign. It's to help raise awareness of men's mental health specifically. A lot of us, we don't feel like we can talk about our feelings, uh, good, bad, or indifferent, to other people, and it gets bottled up. It eats away at people inside until they don't feel like they have any other option or any other way out. And um, we want to stop that from happening. We want to break the stigma. It's okay to talk. It's okay to talk. So talk about your feelings. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to talk. It's just okay. Entrepreneur life, yo. Just going for a walk down to the part of where I live where I've never been before, just to check it out. 
see what's going on. At the end of the day, when there was nothing hugely exciting going on, you just gotta find the moment and make it something. Make something out of nothing. You can make something out of nothing very easily if you look hard enough and try hard enough and work hard enough and create from your imagination. Find the sublime in the simple. Sometimes it's not your surroundings that are boring, it's your outlook, it's your perspective. Change your perspective and you change your life. Find a way of finding a new way to view your life.